cancer it is your girl i am back with your weekly reading what the hell is going on okay all right cancer so listen you know i've already laid out your spread right this may resonate with you and it may not but it's for somebody okay and if it don't resonate with you just check your other signs and um you know i just consider my readings as just a heads up of something that is going on in your life right now or something that is about to happen in your life cancer okay and you know i've already laid out your spread because it takes too much time to be shuffling these cards and all of that but honey i got you okay and i'm gonna um verify everything with the this is the um tarot illuminati i just got these i don't know if y'all seen these yet but they nice i love them yeah but it's the tarot illuminati though all right cancer so let's jump in your middle card is what life wants you to know and it says winning it says you got a good thing going don't ruin that shit okay all right cancer so your overall energy of the reading is um that's why i keep doing that because i keep on shaking the table okay so your overall energy is strength okay and i see here that somebody or you was like somebody is recognizing something somebody sitting on a high horse or somebody is recognizing something somebody or somebody's getting recognized by somebody and i feel like that somebody is getting recognized by you because i feel like that you're trying to hold on to somebody because you feel like that you could be stable with this person right and it took you a while to get there but i feel like that you're there now that, like that you could be stable with this person and you feel like that you and this person like y'all match each other's stability like that y'all could be together you know what i'm saying and that y'all could be stable with each other right and i feel like that you're trying to like manifest this person into your life okay and you have the tools to manifest this person into your life you know but all in the same token here cancer i see here this is the hermit card right here it's like that you need to take a spiritual journey like you need to go on a journey honey it's like that you need to take a spiritual journey it's like you need to like um maybe look up if you don't know what a spiritual journey is look it up okay but i feel like that you need to go on a spirit a spiritual journey okay and i feel like that you need to take action towards that and you need to go into that like wholeheartedly like with passion and then the love that you want is going to come okay and that's what i see right here and i feel like that you need to dig in and you need to find your strength to take this journey because everybody needs to go on a journey some people just run through life just living you know the ways of the world but when it all boils down to it what we're really supposed to do is be on our journey okay and that's going within you know what i'm saying a journey is like going within and knowing who you really are and knowing what you really want out of life and you know and finding out who who you who's like your authentic self okay cancer like yeah if you don't know what spiritual journey is look it up okay because i something's telling me that you need to take action on going towards this spiritual journey here okay it's like that you you want to be with this person and you're trying to hold on to them but you like because you're feeling like that y'all match each other's stability like that that this person is good for you right but like i said you have the tools to manifest manifest this person into your life cancer but your reading's been kind of crazy lately okay and it was like like i feel like that you need to you need to step back for a minute and take this journey because that's what i see here and then the universe is going to hand you this and it might not be with the person that you think because he's like i said somebody is sitting on a high horse here and it might be that person that person could be sitting on a high horse right and because they know that you're trying to they know that you're trying to hold on to them okay because like i said you feeling like that this person could be a person like that y'all are stable together let's see because i'm about to confirm everything with this Zero Illuminati. <laughs> All right. One, seven. Okay. Let's see. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here for cancer? Seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here for cancer? What must be so we have for cancer? Why is the seven of wands here for cancer? Okay. 
Mm-hmm. See, that person is sitting on their high horse because they feeling like that you left them in the cold. Can you see that? See, that person feels like you left them in the cold. And now they're sitting on their high horse because they know that you want to hold on to them. Honey. It's going to keep doing this, but y'all can hear me, okay? All right, let's keep on going. Why is the four uh, pinnacles here? Why is the four pinnacles here for cancer? The four pinnacles. Let's just be here for cancer. Why is the four pinnacles here for cancer? Let's just The Prince of Cups. See, you're trying to hold on to them because now you have, it's like that you have grew up and now you, you know what I'm saying? Now you want to offer them this love. Okay, now you want to offer them love because, like I said, you feeling like that you do, that this person matches your stability. And and another thing, Cancer, know that this could be you or your person. This reading can be you or your person. Okay, so you just take it however it resonates with you. Okay, let's keep going. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? For cancer. The King of Pentacles. Oh, see what I'm telling you? Look. This is what you got. It's like, I told you, you feel like that you and this person can work it out. Like that y'all could be together. You feel like that this person is your stability. You feeling like that you could, that like this is your person. You know, you feeling like that you love this person. Like that you got a lot of love for that person. Like that's who you want to be with. That's who you want to be in a relationship with. And I feel like here that you didn't, um, you know, like you didn't. You completed, you completed that old you, and then now you're ready. And now that person is sitting on their high horse because I, this could be karma, okay? But you completed that, and then now you're ready for this new beginning with this person because you feel like that this person is the one that you want to spend your life with, that you want to be stable with, okay? But the situation has come to an end. It has come to an end, and it was probably because it was too much of this going on, like too much, too much fighting and bickering and arguing and you know just happen to go back and forth with each other you know what i'm saying like that was probably like at each other's throat all the time or something i don't know what's going on but you're feeling like that this person is somebody that you could be stable with but your your strength here you need to define your strength and i'm telling you instead of manifesting this person into your life instead of trying to manifest them into your life um you know the universe is calling you to go on your journey to go on your spiritual journey you have to go on your journey to figure out who you really are you know and what it is that you really want out of a person okay let's see let's keep going why's the queen of pentacles here why's the queen of pentacles here for cancer the queen of pentacles let's see why's the queen of pentacles here why's the queen of pentacles here listen cancer see i told you that this person whoever you're dealing with or this could be the other way around. I don't know. You got to take it how it resonates in your life. But look, you got the King of Pentacles here and you got the Queen of Pentacles, right? This is somebody you like, you feeling like that this could be your person. I don't know if you're the male or the female in it, right? But here go the female right here, okay? And the female is like sitting on a high horse. Can you see that? I told you somebody is sitting on a high horse. And it's the Queen of Pentacles, whoever the, the female is you know or whoever got the most feminine energy i don't know honey but somebody is sitting on a high horse okay because they feeling like that you know somebody was trying to play them like that you was juggling two people like you know what i'm saying they feeling like that you was playing like that you was juggling two people so now they are like really marrying you like what you've done to them they're like marrying it back to you or this is you marrying them of what they've done to you and you giving it back, okay? Let's keep going. Why's the magician card here? Why's the magician card here? Why's the magician card here for cancer? The magician card. That's what you got, honey. It's choices. 
Like you trying to man, you, you don't know if you should try to man, keep on trying to manifest this person back in your life or not. You trying to, you have all the tools to do it. Or like I said, the shoes on the other foot. You take it how it resonates with you. But this is choices. This is like now somebody is ready to do the right thing. Like this is like do the right thing or do the wrong thing. Now somebody's ready to do the right thing, and I feel like that that is you, that is ready to do the right thing. And you have choices, but like I said, I feel like that the universe, God, source, spirit, whatever you connect with, you know, I feel like that they're calling you to do to go on this journey. You need to figure out yourself, okay? Because that's what can happen in love. We can keep on running around here trying to love people, but the thing is, is that we really have to sit down and go on our journey and figure out how to love ourselves because we think in that you know we're supposed to hand out love to everybody else which we are but you have to love you first because how are you going to love somebody else if you don't know how to love yourself right and i think that's what the journey is really about that's what your spiritual journey is about and i see that the universe is calling you here to take that journey and this is your last card right here which is what the universe will offer you then they will offer you love i feel like that they're calling you to love yourself right and then you'll get this you need to make sure that you have that overflowing love about yourself before you could jump into something else you know what i'm saying you need to find that strength to go on this journey to dig deep down inside and find yourself okay and find what you really want out of life you know and that's not a bad thing that's a good thing i'm on a spiritual journey right now you know and it's not easy it's not easy but the thing is is that it's something that you would want to take okay so like i said if you don't know what a spiritual journey is i think you should look it up okay why's the hermit here why's the hermit here for cancer why's the hermit here for cancer the hermit. why's the hermit here for cancer mm-hmm so you got the empress you got to learn how to be loving and nurturing okay you have to learn how to be loving and nurturing like you got to move away from you know the things you got to move to calmer waters which is to learn to be loving and nurturing okay and you may feel like that you already have that and you, i mean we all may feel like that we all have that but i'm telling you this journey is going to bring you to more of a, a a loving and nurturing place and like i said you could have kids with this person as well because see it's a kid in this card and then this is the imprints card okay and this is a this is a loving mother this is somebody that's loving okay yep but i think that the universe is calling you to do that if you want to be if you if, if that is if you have kids by this person you know what i'm saying and they um are leaving the situation you need to take this journey and then you'll be able to manifest them back into your life right but you have to learn what this love really is and what love is really all about cancer that's what i'm seeing here okay but the choice is yours because see you have a choice to do the right thing or do the wrong thing and the choice is yours honey Let's see. Why's the uh, Knight of Wands here? Why's the Knight of Wands here? The Cancer. The Knight of Wands. Why's the Knight of Wands here? Cancer. The Knight of Wands here. Cancer. See the Six of Pentacles. See, it's, it's, it's telling you that you can't keep on like penny pinching people. You can't keep on just offering people anything. Okay? And giving people the short end of the deal. Or don't penny pinch yourself either. Take the journey okay take the journey and learn how to love you all the way full-heartedly and then get into something and then you know it's going to work out if that person is sitting on a high horse let them go okay but this is someone that is like they not being fair you know what i'm saying and they like they getting shortchanged like they're getting penny pinched okay don't penny pinch yourself make it work for you okay like take the journey You'll love it. Once you start loving yourself, honey, wholeheartedly, honey, you, you're going to love it. Okay? And this is what you're going to come out with right here. You're going to be able to see things clear. You're going to be able to figure yourself out, like, all the way out. You probably think you got yourself figured out now. But once you go on your journey, honey, it's wonderful. It's hard, but it's wonderful. Okay? You start finding out all types of things. Why say it's a cup for cancer? Why is the Ace of Cups here for Cancer? Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? 
taste of chips. Why is the ice cup here? can See, you got to work on it. You got to work on yourself. You got to go back. I'm telling you, you got to take this journey because your, your journey is all about going back to your childhood. You know what I'm saying? So you can be happy. Like, it's all about fixing yourself. You got to work on it. And like, you know, maybe have someone, ask someone to help you. You know what I'm saying? Figure out what a spiritual journey is to help you. And then that's whenever you're going to be happy. Okay? But you have to go back. I'm telling you, you got to go way back. And figure yourself out. You'll have things. You'll pull out things that you didn't even know that was hurting you. Okay? And I'm telling you, then you're going to get that overflowing love. Right here. Okay? But what I'm telling you now, what I see here, is that the universe, God's source, spirit, is calling you to love yourself. Okay? They're calling you to be by yourself right now and to love yourself. That's what I'm getting here. And it, it, they want you to take it serious. You have to take it serious. They're going to have your back. I'm telling you, the universe is going to have your back honey and sure it's gonna be wonderful okay you just gotta jump out there and do it you gotta find that strength dig down within yourself find that strength look up what a spiritual journey is if you don't know what it is honey and then just look into it i got uh, videos on youtube everywhere about a spiritual journey okay it change your life it's very life changing all right cancer well that's your reading i hope it resonated with you honey and make sure you hit the like button okay hit the like button even subscribe so you can be notified whenever my next videos come out okay cancer thanks for stopping by my channel and have a blessed day